Hey Pilates Teacher Mastermind, it's Linda here. Um, I want to talk to you real quick about all things teaser, rolling, open leg rocker. Uh, there was uh, somebody had posted some photos, post hysterectomy, awesome job a couple of weeks ago in teaser and open leg rocker. Um, my only concern was that the spine seems a little too flat. Um, a little too much kind of neutral pelvis and hip flexion going on and that is not great in those positions. Now, the reason for that is if you think about the psoas, the iliopsoas actually attaches at T12 at the lowest rib to each lumbar vertebrae under T12 and then wraps around through the inside of the two halves of the pelvis and then attaches to the head of the femur. So what we're looking at is literally a direct attachment from your femoral heads through the inside of your pelvis right to your lower back and lowest rib. Now, why is this important? Because whenever you're in a position where you're bringing your legs up, closer to your spine and moving your pelvis closer to your spine. If you attempt to be in any kind of neutral spine lift out of your lower back, you are actually going to cause strain through the hip joints, through the sacroiliac joints because both sides of your pelvis can get strained and can, can get strained in different ways. And you're going to cause a lot more posterior um, pressure in through the spine, which is kind of interesting. So basically what happens is whenever we're in any kind of position where we're lifting the legs closer to the pelvis, and I'm just gonna show you like a basic kind of balance roll here. What's happening here is that in order to bring my legs closer to me in a safe way, my psoas needs to be contracted right? I'm pulling my thighs now closer to my lower back. A posterior pelvic tilt is going to assist that movement. And once I'm in that posterior pelvic tilt and I've got that psoas kind of pulled in enough that I'm pull, pulling my femoral heads and my pelvis towards my lower back, I want to maintain that. That is a force couple in there. That, that needs to stay engaged. Now, I can still lift a little bit through my upper back by just kind of pulling my shoulder blades down in this position, that's a thing, I can do that. But the important thing here is that I'm not going so lifted in my spine that I start to move anteriorly in my lower back and pelvis because that's when I'm going to lose the appropriate support of my psoas working with my abdominal muscles and my adductors in order to stay in this position. So what I'm always looking for in the top of a teaser or open leg rocker is that posterior pelvic tilt with maybe a little bit of, a little bit of drop of the shoulder blade and a lift up of the breastbone. What I don't want is this kind of lifting, getting to the sits bones and lifting up that lumbar spine. Because what's going to happen as you lift that lumbar spine up is that you're gonna lose that connection via the psoas of the femoral heads pulling towards your lower back and spine, pulling towards your torso, which is important in maintaining those positions. So if you're teaching teaser, for example, or doing teaser, as you roll up, here's how I talk about teaser. I say we're curling up head and ribs. Ribs curl towards the pelvis. Right about here, when I'm around T12, my lowest rib, I'm gonna pull back through the pelvis, through a little bit back through the lumbar spine, and I'm gonna lift my femoral head towards my lower back while keeping my abdominal muscles engaged. See that? I'm not flat here. I'm not flat in my spine. I do not want to be. On the way down, it's the same thing. 
I'm maintaining that connection between the pelvis, the ribs, and the heads of my femurs until I am all the way down. I'm going to do it again. The head curls up, legs stay down. Ribs curl up, legs stay down. I get to the lowest rib. I'm torn by lumbar spine. Now to lift those legs, I've got to tilt my pelvis back a little. I have to engage. I have to think pulling the femoral heads towards my lower back. And then I'm here. I don't want to extend to any more than this, no matter what position I'm in. And then the same work, supporting it on the way down. So that's all I have to say on teaser. <laughs> Open like rocker, rolling like a ball. If you're in flexion, you're in flexion. You need to stay in that lower body flexion, specifically in those exercises where the legs are up and the torso is up at the same time because you need to maintain that proper tension of the psoas keeping the femoral heads and the pelvis pulling back towards the lumbar spine and the rib cage. And that is that. Have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys soon.